Hi and welcome to this Sport in the Box tutorial. My name is Eric Berglund, I'm CEO of IC Control Media and Sports. Today we're going to look at how to create the basic database for uh, Sport in the Box and connect that together with Quantum. So we're going to start with having a look at uh, Sport in the Box and create a new database here. Name that uh, demo, decide where to save it, just push next and then we just select swimming since it's a swimming setup and then we finalize that so we get a new clean database here. Start that one up. So now we have a clean database here. The first thing we're going to do is go to File up in the left corner and push Settings. So we want to import some templates for this. Uh, templates is the graphics of Sport in a Box. So we want to import the uh, templates for a scoreboard. Uh, I've already gone to our support site and downloaded the latest template package. So we just plus, plus here and select Swimming Scoreboard. Open that up. We we'll just go through the guide and ask us from where and to where it's going to save them. And then it asks an important question. And here, uh, in this setup, we only have one screen controller, and it's one screen controller because we only intend to control one scoreboard. But in the case that you would have a scoreboard, maybe, and a stream, then you would have two screen controllers, and then you would have to decide which package to belongs to which screen controllers. So we import them like that, and we can see they come in here. We can look through what we have here. We have a name presentation, a full screen scoreboard, a daytime, and two different countdowns: one with a uh, timing here, and one without the daytime clock. These countdowns are used to before the session, so you can have automatic end of the session message and things like that. Um, if we look at these, we can do some settings of and personalize them. I'm just going to go and reset the flag uh, folder. So we go to a specific flag folder, which I also downloaded on the support site. So we get flags in the scoreboard. With that, we're ready to start to configure the quantum. So let's move over to the quantum. So start the quantum here. Uh, let's open a race that I've already created. In this race, the only thing I have done, as you can see here, is uh, we have already a session with a start list that we have imported. Um, the first thing we have to do here is to create the scoreboard output. So let's name it for in the, in the box. Oi. And we select the Sport in the Box protocol and make that online. So we can see it becomes green. And here, if we look at it, you have some different type of settings for this as well. We're not going to go into that. Uh, the second part of what we want to do now, but since this protocol goes over network, we want to check the IP address of this machine. It's important that the quantum machine is then connected over network and local network in the same subnet as uh, the Sport in the Box computer. The easiest way, there are multiple ways of checking the IP address, but I think the easiest is to reach Windows tablet and then CMD, start there, and then we can write IP config. And then we can see here the IP address of the local machine. So 192.168.1.28. With that, we go back to the Sport in the Box machine. Sorry. 
and up here in the right corner we have swimming settings so let's push that one here we can name the competition test competition and we have timekeeping control uh, let's change that to sport in the box as you can see we also support scoreboard alpha which is a serial interface however we suggest to use the and recommend the quantum sport in the box interface because that is go over network and we can do more things here and control slave control it uh, to a deeper level than what we can do with the Swiss timing alpha one check the distance per lap to 50 meter and eight rows that's okay and here we have the IP address so here we check that it's the same uh, or enter the one that we found in the quantum which is the same okay then we press okay and already now we can up here see primary so we have only connected one in this type of setup now I only have a single quantum in case you would have a double system primary and secondary uh, you can of course connect both and you can control which one should control the scoreboard with that let's uh, move back to the quantum so in the quantum yes let's go to timing and we see here that the sport in the box is already on the green that scoreboard output let's open up a race a race with eight swimmers maybe uh, before we open that up we can move to the view that we see both computers like that so let's now open it up super uh, and we can see directly comes the data over to the sport in the box pc so here at the right we have the sport in the box pc and we see that it automatically starts the start list uh, and this is if we look at the sport in the box pc we can see here that it's controlled from quantum so it's already slaved to the quantum and uh, now we're going to only have one operator for this if we would have two operators so one for sport in the box and one for quantum we could remove this and we could manually push the buttons here to control everything but um, in this case we're going to use it only from the quantum so uh, let's have a look at that so let's in the quantum we can here if you right click on the sport in the box let's do some name presentation so we have here lane presentation so like the first one here okay uh, look at both at the same time so when we push here we're gonna send the name presentation and you just push push it again to do the next one right and after we finish we'll have to resend the heat here resend the heat there to get the start list again and then we can just see how it looks when the actual heat is starting okay. manually get some time in yeah. and the last part of what we're going to do so now we have the times in the quantum uh, we have all the data coming in we can control it remotely from the quantum and uh, what we're going to do now is to configure the actual output of sport in the box so what we want to do now is to go into sport in the box and configure the output to our led screen so let's have a look at what we do there so we go up to file settings and instead of controlling the screen controller that's our content creator we are going to go into video windows which is our physical output so on a HDMI or DVI so we're going to create a new video window we get a new window here first thing we're going to do is select the source so let's select main here you can see directly the scoreboard comes there uh, we can then control where this should be located with the XY coordinates here so for this time being is say 1920 zero so let's say it comes into this screen right then we have the width and the height so this is the actual resolution of the screen so let's uh, enter that as 
in my case maybe 1280 or 120. Um, in case this uh, is not a 16 to 9 area I should maybe remove the keep aspect ratio so I can stretch out uh, what I want but otherwise I want to remove the border like this so we don't have any not so nice looking borders and the last thing I want to do is to enable sound right so that means if I would play a commercial clip in my playlist then it would play out with the sound on the machine and that's it thank you for watching and keep a watch out for our next video on Sport in the Box tutorial.